social media and people will put on this facade. They'll put on this that 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 pressure that this oh, is what you this is what you have to do in, in a Christian marriage in yeah. order for it to work. Yeah, the people that are doing that have only been married for like what less than five years. Mm-hmm. They don't they don't really know. Like I never saw my mom and daddy pray together, and yeah. then my mom and dad were married till she died mm-hmm. for like twenty eight years. A long time. Yeah, like. That's a long time. Yeah, I've never saw them like hold hands and pray, and what. <clears throat> and it's not to, it's not to shun that. It's just right. to show, like you know, hey, there's other ways to to really grow as a family. Yeah, than to just put this pressure on. Well, you have to do it this way mm-hmm. to be a Christian in a Christian marriage. It's like I tell people all the time. I've I've officiated a few weddings, and the couples that I've officiated, I told them, you define your marriage. Yeah. yeah. It's not what your mama mm-hmm. do. It's not what your dad says. It's not what your friends. Anyone. You define your marriage for you. Yeah. If y'all pray together, great. If you don't, great. Yeah. But define your marriage to what works for you. Yeah. And I. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, good. Good. you know, we podcasters. So. <laughs> well, yeah. well, and the funny, so the funny thing is, is that, you know, and, and growing up, my family was not like the worst family in the world. You know, people yeah. think that they're searching for love from their family because they were neglected. No, like literally my parents worked their tail off. Yeah. Like, they gave us everything we could. Like we had family barbecue. Yeah. Like it was everything. a fun it was life. A, it was a beautiful life. You know, my, some life. of my siblings may think otherwise, but, you mm-hmm. know, me and my younger brother, we, we loved, I mean, I had fun. We yeah. had fun growing up, right? <laughs> but you don't realize until you're out on your own, mm-hmm. like, what you need. Yeah. And I didn't realize that, you know, needing the, the love from my parents was something that I actually needed. Because, yeah. you know, growing up, I was in sports. We were at tournaments all the time. So everything was transactional. Yeah. So to have to deal with the deep and to really have to deal with, with my emotions. Like, yeah. I got... I got diagnosed with with ADHD back when I was twenty something. Mm-hmm. You know, not realizing he was in a big age. He was a big age. age. So I was grown where it don't even count no more. <laughs> I can't get an IEP. So. You can't grow out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't grow out of it because I'm already grown. You know, and but not realizing just all these things and my emotions that I needed that love and support from my parents. Mm. That later on in life, you know, in my, I'm in my 30s that I realized that's not the parent you needed it from. Mm. You needed it from God. Uh, yeah. And th- g- girl, this is what you've been missing like this whole <laughs> right. time. Right. You should have gone to the vacation Bible school on the corner of the street and actually listen. <laughs> actually listen. Actually you, listen to the vegetarian yeah, song. <laughs> stop just eating all the free snacks. All the hot right? dogs and, and chips and, and, and stuff. And those and felt things. Yeah. Like actually listen to the, the Bible stories, yeah. right? It, it's just... But those were seeds that were planted, though, along the way, because, you know, God has a way of planting seeds in our lives yeah. that will bring us back to that remembrance. Because just like how you shared in your story, you know, you knew enough that, OK, I need prayer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, those are seeds that were planted all the way from the beginning. Right. Like, that's whether always I'm listening been there, whether you listen or not. <laughs> it's in your subconscious. Like, OK, well, I know that okay, it works for you. If it works for you, it can work for me. Yeah. yeah. So, hey. I know I did. I messed up. I know. Can you pray for me? The yeah. fact that, you know, like, what's what's so beautiful about that is the fact that he still prayed for you. Listen, <laughs> hold on. Because I would have been Listen, praying. I was totally <laughs> stalking him the entire time <laughs> that we were separated. Uh huh. I was like on his social media, and I feel like, and I know, were you doing this? <laughs> he was getting his hair cut real nice. Uh huh. And posting the pictures on his social media. Were you doing that on purpose? Yeah, yeah he was. Yeah, he was focused on him. He was focused on him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and like, and then he would like, we were still texting every now and then. And then this is where the jealous me comes out. I'm not jealous anymore. I mean, I probably am. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I guess was one, somebody wanting to hook you up with somebody to go out on a date. You probably don't remember. Cause I remember all the weird things and he remembers all the like yeah. unnecessary things. Uh-huh. And I looked this girl up, and I'm like, first of all, she, she ain't, ain't Puerto Rican. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Puerto. I'm not Puerto Rican. People just think I am. Um, she's not me. Mm-hmm. Like that's not his type. Well, no, you mm-hmm. can't. Yeah. And then I'm realizing, oh, I have nothing not to say. <laughs> not your place. 
place. <laughs> not my place, but, really. But, you know, during this entire time, yes, he's working on him. And, and you know, he would tell me, listen, I, I forgive you. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, what? Mm. Who? He goes, because during this time that we were separated, I'm learning to forgive you for me. Wow. Because if I am constantly thinking, like, having anger towards you, I'm not going to grow to be the man that I need to be. Wow. And so I was like, mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really? You know, all these things. I'm like, where was this Terrence? And I'm like, yeah. in my mind, I'm like, okay, we had to go through this yeah. in order for us to, to find our up. strew. Yeah. Our strew. I don't know what that means. Right? <laughs> right? What does that mean? Good. Our true us. Mm. Um, and I mean, it's nice. It's nice to be, we're grown up now. Yeah. We're adults now. And we can say we've gone through that hell and high water. Mm -hmm. We will continue to go through hell and high water, but we know how to shift left. Mm -hmm. We know how to seek God when we, when we're going through that, but also seek God when we're going through all the fun things, all the, all the amazing things, because when we don't, we get distracted by, by the devil. Yeah. Distracted by the things that seem nice. Yeah. And looks nice. And it's the shiny Mm -hmm. The grass, the, on, shiny the grass on the other side is like, dead. <laughs> don't go there. Don't do that. So. Don't do that. No, I mean that's that's a, that's a very beautiful story. I'm glad y'all sh- you shared it because for one, not just you know to help others, but I think it's going to help you know you too definitely the most because yeah. you know replaying it. I could see. I could tell you was getting teary eyed. Yeah, at a certain little, points. At certain like, points, she was like, <sighs> trying to, "You're trying to be a thug and thug Yo, through it." I was like, "I'm not right? gonna cry." But I could, oh, I could I... see, like, you know, how much that meant to you yeah. because, you know, to admit that you did something wrong mm-hmm. and to well, sit and here and story. it's yeah. a different type of story, right? We always it's hear a different about the man. Yeah. We always hear about the man cheating, mm-hmm. right? Um, women do it too. Yeah. Point blank, it, it happens, and and. What I what I believe is not fair, I guess you can say, to men yeah. is that in society men are constantly identified as the cheaters. No, yeah. women do it too. They're just good at hiding it. They're really good at hiding, right? It. And, and you know, you you know how y'all are, <laughs> <laughs> right? And it's like it's just kind of like. It's it's something that the devil loves to play with, right? Mm. And and in society, the devil's going to continue to play with it. But if we constantly shift towards the devil we're going to constantly just blame guys for being cheaters that's not the case like yeah. everybody cheats just mm-hmm. like everybody poops right <laughs> <laughs> like not saying everybody does yeah. it, but there's no like men cheat more than women it's just it happens yeah and how you come out of it with your spouse is critical yeah because if it wasn't for god terrence and i would probably not be sitting here talking to you today i mean yeah. terrence is producing but whatever yeah um and and we aren't able to share this. We wouldn't be able to share this story with people who are going through the same thing. Yeah. But going through this has made us stronger than ever mm-hmm. as, as a married couple. Um, we still fight all the time, but it's like silent fight. <laughs> it's weird, right? and, Terrence is a silent person anyway. So <laughs> I can only know, imagine. <laughs> but we know on our end, okay, cool. We almost took that route of, of, of divorce. Mm-hmm. But we'll never look down that road ever again because yeah. we know what it's like. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I honestly, know. honestly think like you know, you your marriage is both of both of you guys together. You make each other. You know, you're the perfect complements for each other. Like I've only known y'all for like for what two going on three years, and we've really I don't been know. like I we've known each other for five. I mean, it feels like it feels like forever, right? <laughs> <laughs> But it's like, you know, from from just watching y'all, how y'all interact and how y'all do things, it's like, it's beautiful, you know. I, y'all are one of my favorite couples. Like, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not, I, I don't say that often. Like, I really don't. Like, I know a lot of married couples do. <laughs> Either are still married or not. <laughs> but, yeah, but, yeah. you know, for, for just to hear, you know, I think the thing that, that really stood out to me, and I said it before, but the thing that really stood out to me was that he still was open enough to pray for you. Yeah. And that just shows like how much God loves you. Yeah. Period. Yeah. That he would allow him to still out after still all the there. things that you've yeah. done to still pray. Yeah. Cause TJ would have said, go find somebody else. Girl, to pray. you better go read your own Bible. Right. You better go find a pastor. <laughs> you ask your daddy. <laughs> but it just shows just how much God loves us yeah. that while we are in our sin, mm-hmm. 
He mm-hmm. still loves us. Right. And he's long suffering. Yeah. I think that's the beautiful part of marriage. I, I had a friend that got married and I, that's what, that's one of the first thing I told him was like, you don't realize just how much God loves you. Oh yeah. Until you get married. Mm-hmm. You don't realize the relationship between Christ and us yeah. until you get married. Yep. And I say that because of the fact that you're, you're going to piss your spouse off. hundred percent. Five thousand so times, times a day. Right. I, I know I piss Michelle off all the time. She pissed me off at times. I don't, I, I, I'm, I don't wear my emotions on my sleeve. I wish and she, people, I wish and she was like would. that. <laughs> and she I wants like, me to, cause we actually had, we had an argument not too long ago. Cause she was like, you don't say. Yeah. That. <laughs> it's like, you just, just check out. Just it's like, fight back. Right. She was like, I just need you to say it. Like, but I mean, I'm just not that guy. I mean, I'm very non confrontational. Mm-hmm. Like, Misha, like, like I've, I've established this right. Misha is the fighter. I'm, I'm the peacemaker. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm. I will do whatever it takes to keep the peace yeah. in the house. Misha is very direct and gets straight to the point. I'm developing that. I How can get straight to the point. That has benefited your marriage. Benefit our marriage. Yeah, by you being the quiet one and her being the fighter. Because this is the thing about us. When, when all crap goes wild Mm -hmm. she can be very dramatic and and all that in that percent not in a bad way he just called you (laughs) she knows because the kids are the same way (laughs) and then i'm the calm Mm -hmm. that keeps everything together Mm -hmm. like literally yeah (laughs) <laughs> all hell can be breaking yeah. loose it's like you know the um the gif with elmo with his hands up in the air with and the fire the all around in the ba- yeah, yeah, yeah that's me like, <laughs> dump, <dumpster fire. laughs> everything's fine like yeah. i could keep it all together yeah. because I, I for some reason i i have this ability to just know what to do when i'm calm mm. when, like when i'm calm i can Your i can keep my composure straight. I can, I can think clearly yeah. on what needs to happen like case in point i think i was thinking about this earlier today one of my kids, they got like their finger or hand stuck between the door um, at the apartment well, a long time ago. <laughs> my wife is like, oh my God, what do we need to do? Yeah. I come in, I was just like, all right, let me just yeah, do it. Yeah. Like, it, it's just those type of things. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like for me, I've grown in the, in the area of, okay, I know I need to communicate a little bit better and yeah. things like that. And, you know, which is hence why I'm, I'm a little bit more extroverted mm-hmm. and I try to be more extroverted. My wife is is a natural introvert. <laughs> at heart and so it's like i try to accommodate that by being more yeah pushing the limits for myself to be better for my wife mm-hmm. and the same vice versa she yeah. pushes herself to be better for me and that's and it's indicative of our relationship with god we yeah. push ourselves so that we can be better christians yeah, yeah out of our comfort zones out of these things because one thing you say like the praying together we just well, i don't say we just started but we've been praying like with the family together yeah. like for a while, like I don't like to pray out loud. Like, <laughs> contrary to popular beliefs, I don't like to hear my voice. Like, I may be good at it, right. but I don't like to do it. <laughs> right, I don't like to do it. Like, it's it, yeah. It, I I get I like I freeze up at times, but we do it. Yeah, and it, and it and it breaks and it breaks that shell, that yeah. comfort shell, and it steps and it helps me to step into another realm of like, okay, I can do this. Yeah, I can do that. Now, building one thing that, that I was, yeah, yeah, building that confidence and, and being more confident in myself. Now, I will say this, like one thing that we could work on is praying together as a couple. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think we've done that in a while. We're horrible at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, they said a couple that family, a couple that praise together, stay together. We, well, we've been together, but we ain't been praying together like that. Like, we'll. I mean, he <laughs> prayed for me that night. Does right, that count? Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like you know but we're con- like i'm constantly praying for my wife yeah. like i'm constantly praying for her in my private time and i know she's constantly praying for me in yeah. her private time and i think that's you know that's strong enough yeah. now granted yes we could pray together but i feel like there's such social media and people will put on this facade they'll put on this that 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 pressure that this oh, is what you this is what you do have to do in, in a christian marriage in yeah. order for it to work yeah the people that are doing that have only been married for like what less than five years. Mm-hmm. They don't. They don't really know. Like I never saw my mom and daddy pray together, and then yeah. my mom and dad were married till she died mm-hmm. for like twenty eight years. A long time. Yeah. Like that's a long time. Yeah. I've never saw them like hold hands and pray and what. <clears throat> and it's not. To, it's not to shun that. It's just right. to show like you know, hey, 
there's other ways to to really grow as a family yeah than to just put this pressure on well you have to do it this way mm-hmm. to be a christian in a christian marriage it's like I tell people all the time, I've, I've officiated a few weddings, and the couples that I've officiated, I've told them, you define your marriage. Yeah, yeah. It's not what your mama mm-hmm. do, it's not what your dad says, it's not what your friends, anyone. you define your marriage for you. Yeah. If y'all pray together, great. If you don't, great. Yeah. But define your marriage to what works for you. Yeah. Sorry, just a question. Yeah, go ahead. What are your thoughts on premarital counseling? <clears throat> so my thoughts on premarital counseling is this. I think that, well, number one, me and my wife, we didn't have premarital counseling mm-hmm. pr- prior to us getting married. Um, yeah, we didn't really talk to any pastors or anybody <laughs> we before we got married. We just did it. <laughs> but <clears throat> we've had a lot of issues, a lot of problems like communication stuff yeah but a lot of that we've had to work out Mm -hmm. on our own yeah and i think a lot of the reason why we we realize or we know how to work these things out is because of the examples of our parents Mm. having great marriages yeah Yeah. knowing seeing how they responded just going back to those things and and responding that way yeah and also we've defined our marriage to 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 not do certain things to where you know even though it still kind of slipped through the cracks sometimes, <laughs> but you know, you're like, I don't want to go to bed angry. Well, you can still go to bed. Sometimes. Sometimes. I'm, tired. <laughs> I'm just tired. We'll talk about it tomorrow. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, just go in one of the exactly. rooms. There's six rooms in this house. Go in one of them. <laughs> <laughs> but premarital counseling, you know, I think that to some people it's necessary. Yeah. Uh, especially if you've never had a real strong foundation of a healthy marriage. Um, uh, not only do I think that it's necessary for people like that, but I also feel like, you know, surrounding yourself with um, strong marriages, people mm-hmm. who are in strong marriages, mm-hmm. people who have been through a lot of craziness yeah. in their marriage, and yeah. their marriage is still strong because they've learned from those right. things. You have to surround yourself with people like that because when you do, you're able to now learn how to handle certain situations. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think that it's a necessity yeah. for marriage. Right. Uh, I think the necessity between the two parties should be how's your relationship with God? Yeah, that's where I was. I was leaning into as so we did have premarital counseling with with his aunt. Mm-hmm. Maybe that was a conflict of interest. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> um, I honestly don't remember it. I just mm-hmm. remember we went a couple times and mm-hmm. we talked about things that. Yeah. But I, I mean, personally, after all that we've been through, I feel like we should we like not we but. Anybody considering getting married should go to therapy. Yeah, on their own first, mm-hmm. because you have to be a strong you before you can become a strong unit. Yeah. and whether it's therapy, you know, whether it is you need to be in the Bible a lot more alone. Mm-hmm. Um, Terrence and I haven't really ever been alone, mm-hmm. right? Like we've never been by ourselves. Mm-hmm. Um, Terrence was by himself for a while, right? But. You know, me, myself, I was never alone. So I don't mm-hmm. know what it means to be to alone. To be alone, yeah. And I will never know what it means to be alone because <laughs> I'm with Terrence for the rest of my life. Right. right? And all your kids. And all my kids. <laughs> all babies, kids. All, right. <laughs> all Kids right. all over the place. Right. And so, you know, just one, accepting that. Like, remember, yeah. you're never going to be able to go back and figure out what it was like to be alone. Mm-hmm. I don't want to. Right. Mm-hmm. Because him and I, we've gone through our things and now we're, we're so strong. Right. Yeah. And, but just, you know, whether you're in the beginning stages of marriage, whether you're in the middle or end or whatever it may be, I always feel like you need to find your you yeah. before you can become two, two right? whole people. Yeah. 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 You, you dropping bars, you dropping bars. So yeah. You got it. <laughs> uh, because, you know, finding out who you are when you're two people, you'll never find out who you are because you're yeah. so focused on the other person mm-hmm. and You know, during this, during that time, I mean, during this time in my faith journey, you know, praying with Terrence is fine, (laughs) right? But him and I are both like, this is awkward. This is, (laughs) what do you want to say? Right. And it's, it's so stressful when praying should never be stressful. Right. And 
that's why I like how we do our things. You know, we're, we're in our Bible study together, I mean, yeah. by, separate, but in the same house. Yeah. We're doing our own thing because yeah. God speaks to us in different ways. And, right. and in order for us to be that strong unit for our kids, yeah. we have to have, be that strong unit with God. Yeah. Um, and, you know, this morning I'm, I'm reading about Ruth and I'm like, man, Ruth was... Let's go, girl. Right. right? Like, you're so dedicated to your mother in law. <laughs> I love my mother in law. I would do the same thing. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but I hope Terrence doesn't die. You know, just going through those, like putting it into my yeah. life. But, you know, him cooking breakfast and I'm mm-hmm. doing my little Bible study, you know, that's what our marriage is. Yeah. Like, we don't have to be praying together. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. right? But, and some people need it. I think, yeah. I mean, but it goes back, like, what works, what for, works us. for you. Like, yeah. Because yeah. 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 some people need that. Some people need mm-hmm. to, okay, I need my, my husband to read to me. Yes. Oh. I- <laughs> Terrence hates reading out loud. <laughs> I can and see I'm that. Just like, oh. I can see that. You know what I mean? Because I fall asleep when I read. Mm-hmm. So I, it's like, well, I can just have Terrence read to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he will never read out loud. He said, "You better, you better have you better that white man on that Bible you. app <laughs> right. read to you." <laughs> right, and so like him building his relationship, me building my relationship, it's it's done nothing but good. Yeah, right? and and you have to learn to be your own best you with God before you can do anything with anybody else. Because mm. what happens is that if I didn't have a strong relationship, and I was like real superficial. But he had a strong relationship. I would just start doing things he would do, right? Yeah. Which led to, which was how my church journey was. Yeah, was that ah, I was around these people, so let mm-hmm. me just do that. Yeah. When in reality, I was like, no, 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 like this isn't for you, girl. Mm-hmm. You need to go somewhere else. You need to to find your own path because yeah. I was so focused on what everybody else was doing. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just seeing how you all love each other in church and like the images, even like like when when Terrence lost his job and. <clears throat> The my favorite image of y'all. I'm sorry. Front, when I'm behind him. Yes, when he's on the phone, he's on the floor. Like that is such a beautiful. I, like Listen, before any of that, like before church or focus or anything, I would never have done that. To be honest with you, when we were at his family's church, there were multiple times where you know he would be shouting and stuff, mm-hmm. and I'd be like, mm, "He's doing it." <laughs> <laughs> right? Use him, Lord. Uh, you know, we went through life group and just. What he was going through, like I could feel it. Like, yeah, not like financially, not. You, you could know, just. But because I mean, are you okay if I say? Yeah, I'm just giving myself permission. <laughs> you know, at the beginning of of last year, mm-hmm. Terrence's goal was to pro- be able to provide more for his family, mm-hmm. right? And I know this loss of job hit him really hard. hard. One, yeah. because they did him dirty. Mm-hmm. Two, Terrence has always been a hard worker. Mm-hmm. Like no, He may not talk to you, but he will He's work working. his tail off yeah. and do whatever he has to do. And it hit him hard. And mm-hmm. so that was the first service that he has ever just mm-hmm. laid it out. Yeah. Ever. I mean, that I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. And that was... You know, to me, I felt what he was feeling. And mm. so I knew, like, right now he has to be in his weak mode. Mm-hmm. Not weak, whatever. Yeah, you no. Know what I mean? He has to be, in, he has, he has to, to be, pour out. Yeah. And, pour and, all and of that this out. Is, now it's my turn to be strong for him. Mm-hmm. And so, I mean, that's what the Bible does to you. Yeah. The Bible be bible in. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible be bible in. <laughs> you know what I'm but saying? That, like, but that's marriage. Yeah, like, it's marriage. You have, you when, have. when one is, is at their opportunity moment, that is when... Mm-hmm. This it's it's time for the spouse to to, to wake up. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, people talk about submitting to your to your spouse. That's me submitting because mm-hmm. I'm here to cover him yeah. when he is at a really weak moment. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, even even at other services, like God is just like, nope, it's time to it's you need to be strong for him. Yeah, you need to be strong for him. You know, and so um, if it wasn't for the Bible, if it wasn't for God, we wouldn't be in that place. Like yeah. we, you would never have seen us kneeling behind each other like you know it it's it's very weird when he's playing yeah and i'm at the front row and mm-hmm. i'm like where's the man <laughs> just by myself. Just but then i'm like you're doing it <laughs> <laughs> got the <laughs> whole church club, bumping you know? <laughs> <laughs> and you know i'm, I'm so proud of him and, and what yeah. he does and he, him using his gifts because um you know back in my teen years i would have been like you need to find a job you need to do this <laughs> but in reality you know he's come to this conclusion with God that God wants me to provide in a different way. Mm -hmm. Like it's not all about money. Yeah. Right. You know, at this time he is 
helping me with my my dad who lives mm-hmm. with us. He's helping take him, you know, he's spending time with my dad. They go yeah. golf all the time, right? Mm-hmm. And it's, it's so cool to see him connect with my parents because mm-hmm. I've been here connecting with his parents this whole time. And, yeah. And just to be able to see that, that yeah, full circle come mm-hmm. around. Yeah. And, you know, he's helping take care of the kids. He's helping. He's relieving that stress from my mother-in-law from watching our crazy three-year-olds. <laughs> our three-year-olds insane, right? Mm-hmm. But he's getting that time with the kids. And that's what God's te- God is telling him is that you need to provide it a different, different way. way. It's not financial. Chris yeah. will take care of that. Yeah. He <laughs> got you. I, I got you. <laughs> um, but what's, what's funny is that in this time, we have not had fights. Mm. Like... God has put such a peace over us in mm-hmm. the decisions that we're making. Is it stressful because we're also moving? Yeah. yeah. But we, him and I have been at our, this is probably the strongest that we've been because we've been in, in, in the Bible, because we've been intentional about our time separate. Yeah. Um, yep, that's all I got. But you're here. Yeah, you're here. <laughs> we're you're healthy. Yeah. Well, yeah. Y'all healthy. Uh-huh. And God has still provided for y'all. Mm-hmm. I mean, even in that, like he covered you. Yeah. You covered him. That's yeah. what it's all about. 